Okay, Trina, how did you feel when you received the first copy of Hope for the Flowers in September of 1972? Well, what a special treat to receive a copy of your first printed book. 10,000 were printed and I took the book in my hand. This is pretty much the way it looked then when I first received it and the way it looks now. It hasn't changed, basically. It hasn't changed in these years, except for one thing. A friend sent me one of the original editions. Of course, it's not on acid-free paper or anything like that, so it has this quality. Its identification mark is at this 495 price on the back and no, no uh, barcode. And then I looked through it, and we found a couple of little mistakes that were uh, fixable then in the next edition. And then I just came across this and was simply devastated. It's page 26, which is right after 25, but with no number. I don't know if you can see this situation here. But they put this black and white striped caterpillar on the wrong plate. They put it on the yellow plate. This is printed in just two colors. So there's stripe and yellow, and down there in yellow it says stripe climbed. Now, I never dreamed that we'd be printing three million of these over many years. 10,000 seemed like quite as many as might I ever get, and just think that that mistake would be in every single one of those first 10,000 books. Well, so I was devastated and happy at the same time. I sent the book out to a lot of people, and that's how we got the beautiful quote back from Mrs. Martin Luther King. I just sent it to people I admired in some way, and three weeks later I was on on the plane back to to Achmim in Egypt to work there. So I did this book between my two Egyptian workshops, worked, not workshops, uh, contributions and volunteering in the south of Egypt in Achmim. So helping build up the girls' cooperative. So that's how this one looks now. So it's kind of nice to get it back. There are a few others around. Some of them are colored, discolored like this, and some look fairly okay, I guess, if they were kept in a dark place. So that's the story of that.